Let's connect your Shopify data to Google Looker Studio. Go to powermetrics.com and start a 14-day free trial. And by the way, we already have a free forever plan as well. Select the trial and log in with the same Google account that you use on Google Looker Studio. I will select my email here and then connect a single data source because this time we are only connecting Shopify. Here, select the Shopify integration and we will connect our store. Here on the store, I will add a new store and I will install the Shopify application in the App Store. Here, I will install this application and I am done. I have connected successfully my store. I will click on Next and it is time to select my particular store and I am done. I will click on Create Report and if you see this window, this means that our connection is done and we will be redirected to Looker Studio. We will wait for some seconds for our report to load and once the report is loading, you will click on save and share in the top right corner, click on acknowledge and save and we have connected our Shopify data to Google Looker Studio. Here for this example, I have no data for this particular date range, so I will change it. Instead of these last seven days, I will visualize the last year of data, apply and now we have created our Shopify report on Google Looker Studio. Let's see some use cases and examples with our new Shopify dashboard. So first, I want to go to a view mode and I will show you some things that you can do. Actually, you can connect multiple Shopify stores in the same connection. If you are managing multi-store or multiple brands, you can connect them and blend them in a single report. In this case, I have only connected a single store. Also, I can share this report with other users with link. Uh, with email access and also via PDF. This is actually the example. If I click here in PDF, you can create and download a PDF version of this report as well. Also, I can change the date range. I can visualize any date range with my Shopify data. So as you can see, your dashboard is interactive. In this overview, we can see some of our main metrics, our sales, our orders, and our cost data. I can see that in net sales, I have the total sales minus the taxes, the orders where I can have the gross sales, the average order value, and some of my costs, like the cost of goods sold, returns, discounts, and shipping data. And I can segment this data by different levers, like for instance, by product, by customer, by acquisition source. Now I will show you some other views or pages in this dashboard template. I will go to product and here I can also take the same metrics and break down by different product criteria like product type, product status or product tax. And here you can see I can visualize the actual image and the copy and the title of a particular product and all their particular metrics like the unit codes, the total sales and the gross sales. I can take the same metrics and I can break it down however I want. Now. If I scroll down here as well and I go to the customer overview, here this is just sample data. But when I choose the customer type, you will be able to break down your sales performance by new and repeat customers. You want to know how many of your customers are actually new because those are actually attributed to marketing. No. Here if I break down, I can also see or visualize the images and the emails and all the data at customer level as well. If I go to geography, of course, if you have that data from your customers, you can track the geography of all your orders and all your customers as well. Like you can see it right here. And I can do it at country and city level. Here in the marketing report, I can visualize by acquisition sources. So Shopify can let me know my UTM parameters, my medium source campaign content, even landing page URL, and I can break down my sales, new sales or repeat sales from different type of customers, and I can break it down however I want, just as you can see. This is a very good report for measuring attribution, actually. Now, if I go to orders, I can track also at order level and I can visualize different order dimensions, like the payment status, if it is confirmed, if it is fully paid, and so on. Actually, here I can break down if I have an order note, if I have a particular order name. In this case, I have no order name in this sample data. And one of my favorite and not that popular is the peak hours. If I take the actual hour and day where a sale happened, I can know what are my peak hours or at what time most people are converting into customers. This might be useful for you to optimize maybe your advertising or your customer support availability. And I will say finally, if you are tracking your data in Google Sheets because you want to visualize multiple metrics horizontally like a PNL report and you want to break down by day, by week or by month, you can track your KPIs like a PNL for your Shopify store. And this is everything that you can do on Shopify. Now I will show you how you can create and customize your own Shopify dashboard on Google Looker Studio.
I will show you now how you can customize and create your own Shopify dashboards on Google Looker Studio. So let me first go to the pages. Here I have multiple pages, so I will click on the pages and I will see all the pages available in my report template. I will create a new one, and this new one I will call it Shopify. Also, I will add an icon, so I will click on the settings, select icon, and I will choose this shopping cart, click on apply, and now I can create this report. So I will add some charts. I will go to add a chart and first I will add a scorecard here and the metric that I will start with is total sales. Here I have my total sales and I have some data, but this number is, is very high because of course we sell a lot. And in a style, I will change it to compact numbers. Now my number is summarized. I will do the same and I will do some other settings. So I will go to a setup and I will add a sparkline. A sparkline is a time series that goes beneath this metric. So in the sparkline, I want to break down my data by date. And also I will add a comparison date range. Instead of none, I want to compare my data versus the past, the past period and we are done. I will duplicate this metric because I already did the design setup. Now I can simply copy and paste for different metrics. The next metric will be gross sales. So I can visualize my total sales, my net sales, my, my gross sales, my orders, average order value. This is exactly what I will do. Instead of gross sales this time, I will visualize my orders. And also I want to visualize my customers. I can also aggregate by the total number of customers. And remember, I can break down by new and repeat customers. And finally, my average order value. And I will say that total sales, gross sales, orders, customers, and average order value are my sales metrics or sales KPIs on Shopify. Now, what I will do next, I will select all these metrics and I will change the size of all of them. I will adjust it and now I will create other visualizations. I will take the same KPIs and I will break them down by different levers, by product, by acquisition source, by customer and so on. Let me show you. So I'll go to insert and on insert, I will select a time series. And first I will break down my data. I will do it with total sales over time by date. Here I have this but I want to change the styling because I want to add a title. So in the title, I will call this like performance over time. And I will change the size of this chart. And below this chart, now I will break down the data by my other marketing level. So I will go to a chart, the table, and the first breakdown is I want to break down by product image. Actually, I can bring the product title, the image, the reference, the SKU, and so on. In this case, I will bring the product title and the product image. I will change the styling a little bit. And also here, I will remove the round number here. Perfect. I have my table with my product data and I will add a title to it. So I will turn on the show title and in the title, I will use products. Here I have my product data or my product performance. Now I will simply duplicate this table and I will break down my data by something different, maybe by customer. So I will click on this table. Now it will be customers and the new dimensions I will use to segment my data will be, for instance, customer image, customer name, customer type, and so on. Here I will use customer image and customer email and I can keep the same metrics. I could add other metrics like net sales, gross profit, and so on, but I will keep it like this. Now with these two tables, I want to align them, so I will make them a little bit bigger. And below them, I will add other charts. So I will go to add a chart. I will select this bar chart, and this time I want to create an attribution report for Shopify. So remember, I told you I can bring all the UTM parameters and I can filter or segment my orders and customers by UTM parameters. Here, I will select the UTM medium, the total sales, but I will make this horizontal. So I will go to style. I will show a title. I will call this report attribution. And here I will make it horizontal. Then I will duplicate and I will create a new report. This time I will do it with customer type. I want to break down my customers by new and repeat customers. Here, because it is sample data, I have these values in blank, but otherwise for you, it will show new versus repeat customers. And let me change the size of this a little bit. Let me go after these metrics and let me show you. With Shopify, I can bring data from orders, from customers, from products, and from inventory. And we actually categorize the fields. As you can see, I can bring orders data, sales data, customer data, product line items, or actual inventory, and also the cost data. Remember, we bring the cost of goods sold, the taxes, the shipping, the returns, the refunds, and so on. Okay, after understanding what data we can bring from Shopify, I will show you another use case, breakdowns by SKUs. So here I can use SKU and I can know my sales performance by SKU. Here's an example and the style, I will change the name of this report and I will call it SKUs. That's another way to visualize this. But actually, I can create another attribution report. I can break down this data 
by landing page URL. So I will do some changes. Here, I will change the size of these tables. And in a style, I will choose a table instead because I have multiple landing pages, so table will work better. In the setup, the new dimension will be landing page URL, and I will change the display. I will make it, again, vertical. And here, the title will be landing page. And this is how you can create a report, a Shopify report on Google Looker Studio. Please follow us, and I will see you in the next tutorial.